This is a tale that began in a number of places, as many often do. It began once with two sisters in a faraway school where children were cruel and misunderstood all the same. Another time it began with a brave father protecting his family, a tragedy befalling the tragic. Today, however, it begins in a deep, dark wood, where a very special girl indeed was about to begin a long and perilous journey. So this game is called Anna's Quest, and it's the first part of a trilogy. There's a lot of dialogue, so I won't try not to talk over it at all. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Anna who lived with her grandfather in a deep, dark wood. He told her of all the evils that lurked outside the safety of their humble farm and warned her never to venture far. One night, however, the grandfather grew suddenly ill, yet he insisted Anna promise not to enter those woods. Her love for him was so strong that she could not, and at once set out on her ill-fated quest for a cure. The brave girl traveled cautiously into those woods, wary of all the stories her grandfather had told her. Careful as she was, however, a wicked old witch, filled with the most evil of intent, followed her from dark and foggy shadow. The old woman snatched the girl away, and in the darkest corner of those cursed woods, she locked her in a great tower. The witch, you see, had plans for the girl, but the girl had an unwavering determination to save her beloved grandpa. So like I said, this is a point-and-click adventure game. Um, I haven't actually played this game before, but I've heard good things about it, so hopefully we'll get to uh, play through it, and if you like it, you should go to their website and support them so that they'll make the next two parts of the trilogy, which haven't come out yet. So we play as Anna, and we're trying to save our grandpa, who is sick. While we're going to get medicine for our grandpa, a witch abducts us, and apparently we're in this tower, <laughs> stuck in a room. Chapter 1, A Little Experiment. Oh, Grandpa. What have I gotten myself into? If only I'd have listened to you, then... No! I can't think like that! Grandpa needs me! I have to find a way to help him! And I can't just keep waiting around here! That old witch has the door locked at all times. And with all these strange machines she has put here, she's planning something evil, I'm sure! That's it. I don't know how I'll do it, but no matter what, I have to find an escape. Okay, um, window maybe? Let's see if we can climb out the window. Even if I did break the window open, it's still a long, long way down. I think I'll try getting through the door first. Okay. Um, maybe there's a key hidden somewhere? Underneath the pillow? <laughs> no, nothing underneath the pillow. It's not bedtime. It's escaping time. <laughs> Can't use the sheet to climb down the window, apparently. Um, let's just try the door. It's locked, but... Locked. No. Maybe the box? There's something in the box? Locked. Um... Anna. Ah! Did you say something before? Who were you talking to? Oh, uh... Nobody, really. Just... Talking to myself, I guess. Hmm. Well, stop it. 
It's weird. And come closer. I've told you a thousand times I can't hear you properly over there. So, Anna, how are you this evening? Tired and hungry. <laughs> I need to go home. Well, how am I? Is this a trick question? You never care about how I am. That's nice. Now listen carefully. <laughs> the time has finally come for your experiment. Ah, uh, exercise. Yes, exercise. Exercise? See your nice red chair over there? Yes. I need you to go on and sit in it. Um... What? What exactly is this exercise? Just do as I say. Uh... <coughs> that is to say... Come along, dear. Nothing to be afraid of. Be a good girl. And sit in the chair now, hmm? <sighs> I don't like this. Good. Oh, Very good. All right. Stay very still now, Anna. Don't move a muscle. Am I getting a perm or something? Getting my hair done? I guess that isn't too bad. Now hop up, Anna. Quickly now. So tell me. Do you feel different? Somehow different in your head, perhaps? Actually, yeah, I kind of do. I feel kind of... kind of... Hmm, yes, yes. Kind of sick and dizzy. Those lights were really intense. Oh, curse you, child. That should have brought out your powers. Um... Uh, powers? <laughs> powers? Okay. Really? Like what? Your telekinesis. Show it to me. Alright, that's different. I guess I have telekinesis then. Telekinesis? I know you have it. I've seen it. If he has it, then you must have it. I'm sorry, I really don't know what you mean. I don't have any powers. Hmm. This may be harder than I first thought. All right, all right. Go and pick up your spoon. Uh, no, that's okay. I'm not really that hungry. No, not to eat. Pick it up. Hold it out. And then think about nothing except the spoon bending. Well, come on, child. This seems rather silly, but I think the witch's patience is running out. I better just do as she says. Okay. Spoon, pick up spoon. Let's go to the inventory. We've got a pillow and a spoon. See what we can do here. Talk to the spoon. <laughs> I don't think that would be a very interesting <laughs> conversation. Um, can we bend it? Oh no, we can't. Um, what's this? Use telekinesis on the spoon. Concentrate on bending the spoon. All right then. Here goes nothing. There is no spoon. There is no spoon. I don't believe it. What? What did you say? What happened? I bent the spoon? I bent the spoon? Wow! Come closer, child. I can't hear you. It worked! It actually worked! I bent the spoon! Show it to me. Hold it up to the camera. Do I have to? <laughs> Well, I guess I do, probably. Okay, take the bent spoon. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, and use it on the camera. See? Look! I really did it! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Finally! It's mine! All mine! <laughs> you can have the spoon. <laughs> But I still have so many things to do. So many things to prepare. Anna, don't go anywhere. Um... But there isn't anywhere to go. Yes, good girl, good girl. Oh, <laughs> the day has come at last. Honestly, this doesn't sound too bad. I can't help but feel a little uneasy about this. Whatever the witch is planning, it can't be good. I'm going to have to find a way out of here. And fast. Maybe she just wants me to bend spoons for her. She seems really excited when I bent that one spoon. Okay, let's pick up the scissors. Why would you leave scissors with a little girl in the room? Art mm. stuff. Huh? Okay, well, art stuff. I'll just take a crayon, I think. Mm, and some paint, too. I like paint. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I'm not sure that will be much help. Oh no. Oh no. I'm just gonna ignore that teddy bear. Nope, that thing's stuck fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, what should I do? He is very cute, but I think I'll leave him where he is. If I pretend the teddy bear is isn't cute, talking, but I think I'll leave him. then I can deny myself going insane because teddy bears don't talk. Locked. Oh, what should I do? Okay. <laughs> it's talk I'm music. I'm not sure I should just push around a teddy bear that talked. Alright, well. Oh, what should I do? Let's see what he wants. It's a little bit creepy. Um, hello? Is someone there? Uh, hello? You can hear me? What is this? You can hear me. Oh boy, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to talk or not. Wow, that sure is a big relief. Is this another one of your tricks, witch? Anna? Oh no. Shh, Anna, you must be quiet. Anna, who are you talking to? Oh no, oh no. What have I done? This is bad. I... I was talking to... No one. Just myself. Again? Anna, really? I wish you'd quit doing that already. You're distracting me. Hello? Shh! She'll do something! Something bad! Look, it's okay now. We should be safe here. As long as I'm over here with my back to the camera, she can't seem to see or hear me. Oh, Anna, you're so smart. And you can hear me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Well, I think Anna might be going insane, so. This isn't happening. What isn't happening, Anna? This. Me talking to you. Isn't it? I'm not sure. I suppose it is. Um, I think it is, Anna. Okay. Who are you? So you've been creeping on me this whole time? Uh, yeah. That's a little bit weird. So, all this time you've just been watching me? Uh-huh. That's really weird. What do you mean, Anna? You've been spying on me. Oh, no, no, no. I would never do that. But you did. Oh no, I'm sorry, Anna. I wanted to say something. I really did. It's just, if she saw me or heard me, she would be so mad. I just, I didn't want her to be mad with me anymore. I'm sorry, Anna. No, that's okay. I understand. I don't trust this teddy bear. He's up to something. I can tell by his eyes. So black and 
How long have you been here for? How long have you been here for? Oh, long time. Actually, a very, very long time. Staying completely still? Uh-huh. I was so happy when you came, Anna. Are you? Did you say you were going to escape? Shh, not so loud. <laughs> okay. Yeah, tell everybody that um, I'm trying to get out of here. Why don't you, Teddy? Uh, what are you so worried about before? What were you getting so worried about before? Oh, Anna, this is bad. You can't listen to her. You can't. Why? What is she planning? Well, I'm not sure, but it's bad. Very bad. Just look at what she's done to me. And with that power of yours, she wants to take it from you somehow. I'm sure of it. Right. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, I'm Ted. That's your name? Ted? Uh-huh. What? No, nothing. Well, I wasn't always like this. It's okay, Ted. I'm going to escape. Well, we are going to escape. I'll take you with me. <gasps> I knew it, Anna. I knew it. Oh, but, um, how are we going to escape, Anna? I'm not sure yet. I'm starting to think, though, this power of mine. Oh, yes, I saw that. That is amazing, Anna. You were so clever. Yes, well, I guess I can bend spoons now, but it doesn't seem strong enough to do anything useful. If I could try that machine again, maybe I can make it stronger and... Oh no, Anna, you can't. It's too dangerous. It's all covered with lights and cables and machine things. But what other choice do we have, Ted? I don't know, Anna. I just don't want you to get hurt. Alright, well... Let's say I can figure out how it works. Maybe I could make this power thing stronger without actually using the machine? Maybe just kind of recreate it? Oh, Anna, you really are so smart. Uh, but, um, how are you going to do that, Anna? I'll figure it out. I'm going to keep looking for a way out. Oh, okay, Anna. Oh, this is so exciting. So I really don't trust this teddy bear. He keeps flattering me. And he's a guy, which automatically means you can't trust him. Let's see if we can just telekinesis out. Mm. <gasps> no, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Still locked. I wonder if... If I can find right. out how to make this thing stronger somehow, maybe then I can finally escape this place. So we need to make this machine. Um, can we examine it? Maybe we can use the light up here. There are some lights. Okay. As long as I'm careful and stand over here in front of the camera, the witch shouldn't be able to see what I'm up to. Let's take a peek inside. Hmm... There seem to be some kind of magical attachments. Quite pretty, actually. They seem to be positioned along a metal spiral of some kind. Well, it looks simple enough. The secret seems to be in the magic beads. It also looks like I'll need a metal spiral to stick them onto. And then I'll need some kind of helmet to place the spiral in. Okay, maybe not so simple. But it's like Grandpa always told me, when there's a will, there's a way. So Anna is some kind of engineering genius and just reverse engineered this really high tech looking machine. Let's see what we can do. We need a metal spiral. Do we have anything like that? Um, maybe we can cut a spiral. Grandpa always warned me against being destructive for the sake of it. Okay, I no. think I'll respect that advice. Um, let's take a look around. Maybe I missed something. He is very cute. Okay, no. I don't really know what it is or what it does. I think that's a pretty good reason not to- Alright. 
Um, the rug? It has a uh, circle in it. I checked under the rug once before. All I found was dust and a cockroach. <laughs> okay. I really don't want to see that cockroach again. Um, maybe we can cut off the horn of the unicorn. That'd be funny. Let's use this on the unicorn. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Mr. Unicorn. <laughs> I wouldn't do this if I didn't really need your shiny, shiny horn. Close your eyes now. Whew. See? That wasn't so bad. Oh god. What kind of girl is this? It's terrible. And we need a helmet, she said. A helmet. What is this? Ball? And we can cut the ball in half? Yeah, that could work. Okay, <laughs> that's easy. Aha! This will fit the machine parts in nicely. Alright. Let's take a peek inside. So pretty. I need to start by getting those beads off somehow if I plan on recreating this machine. So maybe we can cut a spiral out of the horn. Ah, uh, yes! I could try and pry the horn open to get a spiral. Okay. Let's see. It seems simple enough. Nope. The horn's too strong. I'm going to need to use something else. I guess not. <laughs> can we telekinesis it? Hold on. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Perfect! A nice metal spiral, just like the one in the machine. So let's use that with the machine. I'm not sure what good that Um, do we have to examine the machine? Let's take a peek inside. Well, I have a metal spiral, but I still need to get these beads. Maybe we can talk no, to I don't want to risk breaking anything I might need. I should try doing what I need to with this machine using more traditional methods. <sighs> okay. Maybe we can put this in the helmet. It there fits we go. perfectly. A rubber helmet thing. <laughs> My little machine is nearly done. Just one last addition to make. We need to get the beads out of there somehow. Can we just draw? No. Can we just use this on the helmet? I'm not sure what good that would do. Okay. We can just cut them out? Okay, let's see if I can pry out these beads. Alright. No, this won't work. I can't fit it under the beads. I need something with more leverage to get the beads out. Let's use the spoon, I think. I think the spoon. Aha! This bend should be just what we need to help lever out the beads. How's she reaching up there? <laughs> oh well. Success! I'm one step closer to escape. So let's put the beads in the helmet. Wow, that's it. It's complete. I guess there's only one thing left to do now. I have to say, even after doing all that, I'm not so sure about this anymore. This doesn't seem particularly... safe. Grandpa. I know he'd tell me not to ever do something as crazy as this. If it means getting back to him though, I have to try. Here goes nothing, I suppose. Oh, my head. I feel like my brain just turned upside down. Anna, are you alright? Did it work? Anna? 
What was that light just then? Uh, you see... What are you doing in there, child? I was just... What do I say? Anna, don't you turn your back on me. What are you saying? I can't hear you. Oh, Anna, I don't know, but you have to say something. She's starting to get angry. I don't know what you're up to in there, but remember this. I'm watching you. I can assure you, little girl, whatever you are up to, you will regret it. Mm. Alright. So let's get out of here. Telekinesis should be stronger now. Anna, what is that you are doing? Oh, that? That's nothing. I'm just, uh, playing. Hmm. Well, remember, I have my eye on you. This isn't working. I need to distract her away from seeing me somehow. Maybe we can color in the camera? I'm a really bad pro, and sure I'll miss. Then the old witch would surely come up here in a rage. No, there has to be another way. If she comes here, we can just blow her head off with our telekinesis. Um, can we just That's it. turn it if off? I can tamper with the speaker, <laughs> maybe gently move the camera, then she might not be able to see or hear me escape. Alright, here goes nothing. One way to do it. Uh oh. That was a little more than I intended. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. She's going to be so mad at us, Anna. This time, Ted, you're very right about that. I think I see her now. She's coming, Anna. She's coming. It's too late to worry about her now. We have to get out of here, quick! Oh yeah, Anna, your power! Hurry! Well, you know what? I actually I have scissors and telekinesis. Why can't I just take the witch on one-on-one? -on -one? Well, let's just open the door. <laughs> let's go, Ted sure if he needs my help or not yet. I suppose we'll see when I find a way out. <laughs> well, the door's right. open. It's time to go, Ted. Oh, yes, it is. Um, do you need some help getting up? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I can do this. Hmm. <laughs> no, this you can't. not easy. Just, uh, try and remember what it was like to move when you were a boy. That's it, Ted. You've got it. Oh, oh dear. Anna, I think I'm stuck. No, you can do it. Just try pushing back off the wall now. Oh boy, I did do it. I really did. Okay, okay, quick. We need to see if you can walk so we can get going. Oh yes, let me see. <laughs> that walking animation is pretty cute. Well, there you go. You really did do it. Alright, Grandpa. I'm coming. Alright, so we're leaving the room now. And I'm gonna end part one here. If you have a comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys like this game, and if you do, consider buying it because the developer could really use your support. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye.